work I don't really like talking to people and I know for a fact I would have to be talking to people and I just don't think that's really my thing like remember when I tried to do I tried to start my little only fans and you know just talk to fans on there and like post little like I just post like a little twerking video or whatever I was like okay it was just way too many fucking people trying to talk and shit and I was like you know what this is just not for me this reminds me of when I used to be a stripper and I used to have to talk to people I did not want to talk to and I was just like this is not my vibe Somebody said they know him. They know Rashawn Tillman. Y'all, somebody on here is talking so much shit. You look like a transgender, okay? What's your point? All right, One thing I can't get with, like, you know, a bitch already lost the argument if they try to say that you're not pretty when you're pretty like i don't even call bitches like ugly if i'm arguing with a bitch that'll never be the first thing i say to a bitch because it's just like what is this middle school where are your roasts at you don't know how to read a bitch like that's all you could say pathetic pathetic you're ugly like y'all be saying that shit to me in the comments and i'm like but why lie? You could say so much more about me than just that. And that's all you could come up with. Some said they ain't lying though. You do look like a transgender. Honestly, that's completely fine. People have actually told me that for years. And I really don't mind it because um, I still pull niggas. So, I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say? You might look like a whole ass girl or whatever. And I'm over here, I guess, looking like a transgender. And you ain't pulling no niggas, baby. You ain't making no money. So what's your point? So what's your point? Like, where are we going with this argument? And it's not that I don't, I think it's fucked up that people use that as an insult. Like, y'all bitches be trying to come up with anything, say anything. This love is that he still lives in the bay. Wait, are y'all talking about fucking Rashawn Tillman? Tillman? Because I cannot find shit on that man. And I be researching like people who I went to high school with. They don't know it. Because they're probably like, oh, that bitch Kayla. She thinks she's all that. Like, you know, type shit. A lot of them, a lot of people who I went to school with don't really necessarily like me. I'm reading the comments, y'all. Well, send me his um, IG. Somebody said, who is this girl? I'm screaming. I really only smoke this vape, y'all, when I drink a little LP. So we said your voice is so satisfying. You know, it's so crazy. People be telling me that all the time. But like, I do not hear it at all. Even when I sing, I do not hear it. They're like, oh, you have a nice voice. Like, I don't fucking hear that shit. Do it like a Joby day. <laughs> I 
hey guys you guys are so fucking funny i love you guys to death my voice is calming try getting cursed out by me there's a lot of people who would say otherwise I want to tell y'all where I'm going, but like, I don't know who's watching this live right now. And I'm scared. <laughs> Why are y'all talking shit on my nose ring? I like my nose ring. Y'all were saying that it's too big. All right, let me. Also, y'all, so I get I just got my brows laminated, but when it's not laminated, I use this. Control Freak by NYX. This will leave them bitches standing up. <gasps> like, <gasps> I feel like my eyebrows were legit made to be laminated. They just look really good laminated. Because they're just... Look at that. Like, these hoes is fierce, man. Can't lie about that. Somebody said, oh my god, the views are going up. I know the shade room is in here recording now. I'm not on here talking no shit, y'all. So, please don't say nothing into nobody. Please. Cause I really do not like that shit. <sighs> Why am I not in Miami? So I have my flight booked to Miami for Labor Day weekend, but I decided to cancel my flight. The weather was bad. And then I don't know, something in me was just telling me not to go. I really don't know why, but I was just like, I'm gonna just stay at home. I canceled my shit. My friend was here and came knocking on my door at four in the morning like wake up you're gonna miss your flight and i was like i already canceled that shit i know i see you guys saying <laughs> mr till is here if you're here hi i don't i haven't seen no comments from him but hey hope you're well Wish I could come to a high school reunion, but I'm banned from everything. You guys know that I was never allowed to go to prom or anything when I was in high school. Like, legit banned. And I remember I wanted to go to prom so bad that I wrote the fucking, the principal a note on, like, this pink paper. I, I, I sprayed perfume and glitter on it. And I was like, please let me go to prom. He's like, I just can't do it. And, like... The principal was really fine. It was really sad. Y'all. Yeah. Why was I banned? I was really like a problematic teenager. Like something like now, but like more ignorant. <laughs> why was i banned actually i do remember why i was banned and it's really fucked up it's not that fucked up i tried to fight this girl i was so raggedy y'all i don't even remember why i don't remember why just some ghetto shit just some i was crazy young and stupid as fuck who knows do it like it's your b-day What time is it? 10 15. I'm supposed to go somewhere. With a boy. I'm supposed to go on a date, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Hopefully, nobody's in here. That shouldn't be listening to my business, but I am. Body count. 
I'm screaming. Who? <sighs> oh, not y'all asking me. <laughs> Lord is high, girl. I miss you. Whatever little situation. The boy's cool. He's cute. How's Elevator Bay? Um, no, I'm not going on a date with Elevator Bay, but me and Elevator Elevator Bay are close. Like we talk every single day. He was just texting me. He's super cool. Like I really, really fuck with him. I'm not even gonna lie to you. We talk we've talked literally every day since we met in the elevator. I see him almost every other day. How did you gain weight? I need tips. I gained weight by drinking Hecka Insure every day. <laughs> Lourdes. You guys, me and Lourdes have some songs that we wrote together. When I drop a project, you guys are going to be able to hear them. And they're super bomb. One of them is called Team. How does he feel about you going on a date? I'm single. I don't know how he feels about me going on a date. I'm very single, babe. <sighs> Was he the one who left me the flowers? No, my ex sent me those flowers. I don't know nigga seven days a week. All I'm got a job, only wanna get the cheeks. Keep a rotation, cause mine just getting weak. I like my niggas sound like they ain't even gotta speak. That's team guys. That's my song team. I be bored, I be switching up like fashion. All them niggas paid and I never gotta ask them. Did hair Queen LA install the wig? Yeah. Like, I wish this was my natural hair color. This is, like, my sister's natural hair color. She got all the good hair jeans, honestly. <laughs> Somebody said the popular girl on live. No, nah, I'm screaming because I'd be watching those fucking TikToks, and I'd be like, is that how I am when I'm on live? But I'm not. I really be on here talking shit. I'm just trying to be cool and calm and not talk so much shit because it was just blogs like doing too much for the last couple of days. And I just really want a little break from people in my DM. Yeah, this is like Mulatto's hair color. That's hella funny. She's lucky too. Lucky bitch. Her hair color is hella pretty. Some said, girl, you've been hating. Bitch, I've never been a hater in my life. Are you dumb? Y'all, I don't hate on no woman. Even if I don't like them, if I don't talk to them, bitch, I do not hate on bitches. But if you come for me, I'm going to come back. That's it. Do you ever wear colored lipstick? Not really. I do like this nude and brown lip liner sometimes, but like, I really just don't like clout. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, people be like, oh, clout this and clout that. I'm like, bro, I do not like that shit. I don't like, I feel like there's people who really like negative attention, but like that shit really truly gives me anxiety. And like, even when anything happens, if like I happen to get in an argument with somebody, like it really makes me feel bad. Like. I'd be like, this is so stupid. But then also, like, my, like, other side of me be like, nah, fuck that. Like, 
fuck these bitches don't feel bad like you know but it's it's definitely very stressful sometimes somebody said instagram famous clout um that's not really true i mean i don't think that's true i think that clout is like something that's like clout is like something that you get for stupid attention like oh i'm gonna go jump off of a bridge for attention that's clout you know like i really feel like that like i feel like Fame and clout are two different things. I feel like fame is like when people know you for stuff, but clout is when people know you for like doing stupid shit, like like constantly trolling like 6 9 or something or like how that guy used to be um what's that guy's name? Boot Gang, you know? Like doing hella negative shit for attention. Like I I mean I could definitely say I'm problematic a little bit, but I don't really like to be anything exactly anything you do intentionally for attention is clout anything you do intentionally attend intentionally attention seeking is clout and I really don't do that like I never do anything in my mind like oh yeah this will this will make me go up like you know like I don't do shit like that all right I'm about to block this bitch because I don't gave them so many passes You don't get no clout though exactly which is what i like i don't like that i don't want clout where's my nose ring from you guys honestly i don't remember the name of the place it's just like um i have it saved they posted me on their page before too and i'm pretty sure they've tagged me in pictures i'll be having to go back to uh my saved photos to find this because i just ordered another one of these like last month You are the most chill, funny person ever. Ain't looking for clout. Thank you. Tips on making big money. I would say a real tip, like a true honest tip for anybody who's like thinking about like this is what I even tell my friends. Like I tell Millie this all the fucking time. I tell Millie this. I tell Shy this because i really feel like millie and shy like they do their thing but like they just could be doing so much and like i be telling them all the time like millie wants to do youtube and she's been telling me she wants to do youtube for the longest and i'm like just start it just start it just start the youtube just start the channel just start whatever like literally you guys really don't need to be like perfect at anything you're doing when you first start at all so just start it like start your business i know people say that oh just just start it just start it but seriously like quit thinking about it just fucking do it when i first started my store i legit was pretty much broke like i had just did bgc and i was like there's no way that like you know i want this to be it for me like i want to do shit i was i really didn't have money like that that you know and I was like, I'm about to just start my store. And I started it with fucking t-shirts that I was distressing myself. I don't know if you guys remember this one, Bad and Bougie was popping. I started those, I did those Bad and Bougie distressed shirts. And I was, me and Jade were sitting in the living room, distressing the freaking shirts ourselves, hundreds of shirts. And, and it was like some small shit. And I had to learn everything. I had to legit learn every single thing and even just recently like when i just dropped my book like i had to learn how to print out all the orders at the same time rather than doing it like one by one by one you get what i mean so you know Like, you really just learn everything by, like, fucking up, honestly. Yeah. 
someone said i bought these strip lashes from you in like 2016 they were the best strip lashes i ever bought see also that i had like sold lashes like did all that i had to learn how to like talk to manufacturers i had to learn how to talk and like make you know customized boxing boxes and shit like things like that whatever the fucking case like i had to learn all that shit on my own do you believe that people are entrepreneurs have a better chance at being rich what is your opinion on nine five jobs i mean i really just feel like everything is like on your personality like you know like if you feel like you thrive in a situation where you like work in a good work environment and you work with other people like yeah like you know like that's great me personally i can't do that like i've never been able to do that i've never been able to take direction i've never been able to follow rules like i've always had a real defiant problem and that's why i always knew like i gotta just work for myself this fucking imprint on my chin is still there from the freaking little head wrap thing i just had on my chin looks mad pointy Oh, did you guys hear that? Oh, crack my back. Oh, am I going to do another book? Yes. So I am going to write another book. I really don't know when I'm going to start it. I have the title for it already, um, but I don't know when I'm going to start it. you guys thought i farted i'm screaming would you recommend stripping to come up um i mean i wouldn't i guess i wouldn't like always recommend stripping you get me but i mean there's a lot of other ways to make quick money so like be a hoe no, i'm just kidding <laughs> no like you could bartend you can waitress um there's a bunch of ways to make quick money. Have a, have a really small business, it don't matter. Like, there's a lot of ways to hustle. Did you get your breast implants under or over the muscle? Um, I got my implants over my muscle because I had enough natural boob to, um, basically cover the implant so i did own a taco truck like i guess that guy owns a taco truck you could do all sorts of shit i mean it does take money to get a taco truck but you know you gotta you can start anywhere Ooh. Ugh. i want to do only fans but i don't know how to promote it I don't know what to tell you, baby. I'm really not even on the dang uh, OnlyFans. Somebody said she not broke like you. I don't know who's not broke like me, but baby, I'm not broke. So I don't know who you could possibly be talking about. I don't know what I'm wearing, you guys. Some chill shit. I don't know why y'all be trying to have me beef with bitches so hard. Like, I don't want to beef with bitches. I don't like beefing with bitches on the internet. I don't like doing that. That's not my thing. If I have a problem with a bitch, I'm going to fucking see you in person and slap the shit out of you. Like, I don't... Even then, I'm getting away from that. But I have, I don't want to have issues with nobody on the internet. Okay? I don't want to have problems with nobody in real life either. But y'all be pushing this narrative for me to have problems with people. And I just don't want... I don't care to do that.
did i hear about the stalker that killed the girl in texas yes i did and rest in peace to that girl she followed me i i don't know if i've met her before i probably have but that shit is really scary and really crazy and i really feel bad Somebody said, you've always kept up with your appearance very well. Have you always been like that or did you have to teach yourself? <sighs> um, I mean, I guess I've always been like that. I mean, to a certain extent, like I never just been like hella dusty. I mean, I don't know. It really just depends. Like I used to be really freaking broke and really poor and like didn't have options to do shit. I couldn't buy clothes. I couldn't do nothing but like I would try to be cute like I would like cut up my clothes and try to make them cute or whatever the case may be and blah 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 but yeah people always tell me to do a podcast but shy wants to do a podcast and that's kind of her thing and like I don't want to like do that when my best friend wants to do that I would start a podcast with Shy, but she hasn't brought it up to me. And I think she's going to do it with some, somebody else or something. I don't really know her plans on that, but I know she's, like, into the podcast thing. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's my best friend shit. I would love to do something with her, though. I think we would do one. Hey, Bearline. We need to film. So we did, we did actually film a video yesterday together trying a new food. Because, you know, we're doing that Instagram series, I Try With Shy. But y'all, my friends was on there talking so much shit. And I was like, damn. Someone said her last name is Wilkie. You don't get no whiter than that. First of all, you spelled my last name wrong. Second of all, my last name is my dad's, my dad's last name, not my mom's last name. And, um, yeah, it's British. They're British, so... I guess. A lot of white people out there. What happened to you and Shy going to a restaurant and giving us a review? We just filmed the video yesterday. I would like to do a podcast but i'm just like that should not pay enough i'm gonna have to censor myself if we do youtube like i don't know so we said what's your nationality i'm american but anyways y'all i'm about to get off here i'm about to finish this tiktok and text these people back <laughs> 